Okay, let's see here. What's the next order of business? The radiation suit is probably very important. I don't know where to get lead, though. Also don't know how to get silver, so the O2 tank is off the table for right now. Ooh, the habitat builder is probably pretty important. Let's see, computer chip, wiring kit, and battery. This may have to be an exploration episode, I guess, because there's some seemingly pretty bread and butter resources that I actually have no idea where to find. I'm just gonna grab all these batteries because those are probably gonna be important. Thank you to the comments, by the way, for explaining to me that the creature eggs are for uh, there's like incubation units or something that I can build where I can hatch eggs and grow them into pets, apparently, which is sort of cool, uh, but definitely not something I have any sort of access to yet. So, supposedly from what I've heard, my backpack, uh, according to Lucas, and I quote, acts under Pokeball rules, so I'm just going to assume that these are sort of just in stasis. Uh, until I see otherwise. Anyway, hello everybody, my name is Alaskan Blue Jay, and welcome back to Subnautica. And I'll tell you what, if I have learned anything in the last 24 hours, it is that I have some Subnautica zealots in the audience. <laughs> if you didn't see my vlog yesterday, at the end of it, I had a little voting, uh, little voting thing in the comments where people could vote for either this game or Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, and it was unanimously Subnautica. By, I'm talking like, 11 or 12 votes. Not a single person voted for Walking Dead. One person, I like, I'm not going to call out any names, but one person initially put down Walking Dead and then immediately changed it, which means they, they either caved to peer pressure or just immediately were confused and forgot which number was which, which is hilarious either way. Either that or you guys just don't understand yet how good Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is, in which case, who oh boy, you're going to learn in a couple days one way or another. I already love that game. But Subnautica you wanted, and Subnautica you shall receive. And on that note, a thank you again to my good friend Alex at twitch.tv slash alexanimate. You really should head over there. They w they've said they will start streaming again eventually, so. I'm telling you, especially if you guys are Subnautica fanatics, uh, Alex is much more, uh, Alex takes this game much more seriously than I do. So, uh, you will find common ground there for sure. And Alex has been so good as to let me know that when the light on this thing is blinking, that means I have a message at the radio, and this is supposedly actually where I receive some of, the, like, most of the main objectives of the game. So, I'm glad to know that now, because that seems like it's kind of important. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Uh, wait, there was a planned rendezvous? Whatever happened to, like, 11 years until pickup, or whatever it was in the previous episode? Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine. 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 Oh. Nine. Nine. Hours. How long is that in days? Or months? Or years? Well, I suppose if there's any chance at all of... Oh, wow. That's... Oh, huh, that's convenient. I suppose if there's any chance at all of getting off of this wet-ass rock, uh, I should probably investigate that as soon as possible. Also, god damn, the sea glide. I'm liking this. Unfortunately, it's the same as everything else, like I say, that's stationary in this game, and that it probably looks pretty stable for you, but it's glitching all over the place for me, so that is probably going to make me pretty nauseous eventually. Fuck. Stalkers got him, didn't they? Oh, and is that, wait a minute, is that, is that a sea glide remnant? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's sort of, I guess you kind of get there automatically, eventually. Uh, even if you haven't been chasing stalkers halfway around the globe like I was last episode. The game does eventually sort of shoehorn you into the technology, sort of like Doom, in that if you're particularly observant, you can find stuff early, but... Ooh. New blueprint acquired. Well, that'll be useful. A compass. Integrating new PDA data. Is that everything? I'm assuming this isn't functioning. Yeah, no. We get everything here? Alright, let's head back to base then. Oh, that's so nice. 
It actually feels like I can go and do some decent exploration now with this thing. Oh, and look at that! I didn't even- it's right in front of my face and I wasn't even paying attention. While you're using the Sea Glide, you get like a 3D radar map. Of all like like the cave systems and stuff around you. Oh, that's gonna be so useful. I'm so fast now that I actually overshot my base. Okay, okay, wow. Alright, so getting the sea glide is definitely at a, an important milestone. Now hang on. Uh what uh what happened to that PDA? Is there anything anything important in there? Oh, wait a minute. Evidence suggests that Sandstone knows there's now those eggs can be found resting in sea found. Okay, alright, so there's actually a lot of valuable information in the data bank. A lot of the same stuff that the comments have been telling me, actually, so I maybe should be doing a better job reading this stuff. Ah, LifePod 3 crew log. Okay, so data, that's under data downloads. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Hmm. Okay. Ah, okay, that's interesting. I'm probably just giving you guys a little highlights reel of anything useful that I find in the data logs. But supposedly the presence of these little shuttle bug guys uh, indicates that there are caves nearby. I'm sort of just skimming a lot of this. Let me know if there's anything that I'm, uh, that I'm passing over that is important. Whoa, wait a minute. The stem is fibrous and rich in iron, making it a viable base material for fabrication of textiles as well as a basic food stuff. I can eat creep vines? Okay, hang on. I gotta go investigate that real quick. I'd be very surprised if they have any, like, real nutritional value since they're so common, but... Oh, can I not have my flashlight and my sea glide out at the same time? Son of a bitch, that's annoying. Just uh Huh, how about that? Food plus three, water plus one. Okay, yeah, so I was right. It's not very nutritious, but if there's literally nothing else around and I'm starving, then that can maybe keep me alive for a little bit longer. I mean, there's, I mean, again, since there's so much of it, there's probably not anything to stop me from just immediately chowing down on it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's, that's a fun idea, actually. What if you tried to do a full run of Subnautica, like doing like a, like a vegan run or something, and you could only, you could only use like edible plants and stuff. For nutrition because technically if you went through enough of it that means you could subsist entirely off of creep vines using them for sustenance and bandages also uh shout out to shogun i think it was for telling me that the bubbles that come out of the brain coral can be used to refill your oxygen that's going to be valuable information for sure now, since i'm here in uh stalker turf anyway let me see if i can find any scrap around here Ooh. Ooh, what do we got here? That looks like a blueprint bin. Oxygen, please. Please. Thank you. Oh, a mobile vehicle bay. I've never seen one of these before. Okay, that that's uh that means we're officially in new territory since the uh since the two episodes of this that I did forever ago. Okay, hang on, scanner. One out of three. Okay, so I've got some work to do on that. But, oh, vehicles. Dude, the vehicles in VR are going to be nuts. I'm already looking forward to that. Also, I spy a deposit of some kind. Silver! Base Silver. Are an essential component of many habitat modules. Yes! I'm on fucking fire right now. Let's go! I'm finding all the materials. Ooh, I see another one. Ah, uh, yes, and there's gold down here, too. Woohoo! Is that salt? 30 seconds. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, wait, what? What we got here? Oh, is that an egg? <laughs> Woo! 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 
Okay, I'm guessing that was a stalker egg. Uh-oh. Okay, and I am now starving. Good to know. Yep, okay. Eh. Go. Go, you beautiful sea glide. Go. Yeah, okay, we're good. Whoa, whoa, oh my god. <laughs> you see that? I just popped out of the water like a fucking dolphin right there. Nanners would be proud. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Watch, 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 watch. Get some momentum. <laughs> okay, yeah, I am. Okay, right, I'm not, I'm not like starving, starving. I'm just sort of getting there. I'll be fine. And, uh, let's see. There we go. There's some peepers. That's where the nutrition's at. Come here, peeper. Oh, inventory. Are you, are you shitting me? Uh-oh. Nope, no, 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 nice try. Nope. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Nope, 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 fuck you. Ah, fuck you, no, fuck you. You go away now, fuck you. I have no idea if that was me or the gasopod that actually scared that thing off, but whew, that one was pissed. Wait, what do we got here? Oh, great. Compass. Compass. Okay. Copper wire and wiring kit. I can actually do that now, now that I know where to find silver and gold. Uh, but first, more pressing issues. I need coral tube for bleach, too. Right. Okay. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I've got time. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, and I've still got those nutrient blocks, too. Yeah. I'll just... Oh, wait a minute. No, actually, I... Since I just ate a peeper, it's too early for that. Because that's plus 75. I don't want to waste those. Those need to be for emergencies. So the next time I start and the, the next time I start starving I should reach for one of those nutrient blocks instead of like panicking and immediately trying to find a peeper. Bladderfish definitely are still most efficiently used as uh, water. Okay. Uh, now let me go grab some coral tube real quick. Ooh, speaking of peepers though. Oh yeah, hey, you're not getting, you're not going anywhere now. You're not getting away from me. Ha <laughs> ha! I do believe I have just moved a couple notches up the food chain with the old sea glide. I'm assuming this, like the the fact that a stalker immediately appeared when I grabbed that means that this has got to be a stalker egg, right? Uh, is there anything in here that I don't need? Not really. I'm gonna take a bit of a gamble. And I'm gonna assume that maybe these little storage lockers follow those same Pokeball rules. So, uh... Okay, wow, those are both actually literally full. I should just make another locker, I guess. Okay, this one we're gonna put all the way down, like, here, here, right here, right here, right? Just, just nice and safe in this little tube over here. This will be the place where, like a loving mama bird, I store my eggs nice and safe away from predators. It's not kidnapping, it's, uh, involuntary adoption. Okay, hang on, hang on, right. Tube sample, tube sample. Wait, no, what? Why does my inventory keep rearranging itself? That's not what I wanted. Okay. All right, much better. What the? What? Oh God damn it! Are we, are we are we really gonna do this shit again? I don't want to do this, but you keep making me do it. God damn it! Eventually, you bitches are gonna have to learn to respect the turf. Come back here. You cannot run anymore. This is mine now. I'll be taking that as payment. For the wasted time, let it be known that I am a benevolent god, and that my anger can be sated with the gift of titanium. I'm just gonna ferret away some of these coral samples here for when I find salt, so that it's just sort of always on hand. Did any of these? Okay, no, no, the acid, acid mushrooms didn't go stale. Okay, I should probably find some more copper. Aha, there we go. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, so there's... So again, the presence of those dudes means I'm in cave territory, which also means I need to be on the lookout for the little explodey fuckers. But now I've got a sea glide, so they're not going to be able to do shit. I just run away. 
All right, we take those. Yeah, 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 I fucking know. Don't get your panties in a twist about it, Susan. I'm calling you Susan. You sound like a Susan. You sound like a suburban mom of some kind. Alex would be proud. If I remember correctly, uh, one of the times we streamed No Man's Sky multiplayer together, one of the plants on the worlds we discovered was immediately named Susan. Ah, uh, yes, okay, there's, here's the loot cave. All right, I need to, hang on, I need to, Hey! What the fuck? Hey! What the hell did I say? You get off my turf! You get off my turf, and you stay off my turf, or you fucking die! You shouldn't have come after me in close quarters, bitch! There's nowhere for you to run! <laughs> look at him, look at him, he's pissing, he's pissing himself in terror. Just ran straight into a wall, you idiot. Come back here. Ah, damn it! Which one's which? They did the old stalker shell game on me. Hmm. All right. All right. Okay. You get off this time. There we go. Look at this. A veritable loot cave. Although it does not seem like any of the super useful stuff has respawned, but there's plenty of quartz here, so that's useful. So a compass. I probably do want that. Displays compass heading on the HUD. So that's just passively used. Survival of the fittest is gonna weed these morons out eventually. Ah, there you are. <laughs> gotcha! I gotcha, motherfucker! You're fucking dead! Yes, yes. Everyone gather round, gather round, children, let us commence the ritualistic sea bagging. Yes, yes, your fish food now. The hunter has become the dinner. Fuck you. Into the abyss with ye. Um, I'm just gonna store that in this crate for now. This is just sort of my... I'm not really sure what to do with this yet. Box. Okay, so now let's reevaluate. Now that I know where to get gold and silver, still no lead yet. So I still can't do the radiation suit. Okay, but copper wire and wiring kit I can definitely do. So let's make that the goal of this episode then. Wait, can I do that already? No, I'm still missing something. For the wiring cable. Oh, I need two silver ore. Okay, well that shouldn't be too difficult. Hang on. That's another what I'm assuming is a stalker egg down there. And another one. Jesus. You guys might want to do a little bit better job, like, hiding those. There's predators about that might steal them from you. Just at a glance. Like, that's really irresponsible, to be honest. Ooh, is that- Ooh, more scrap? Yes. You fuck right off. Passing 100 meters, 30 seconds. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, really? Be advised, Aww. a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Oxygen efficiency becomes a lot tougher the further down you go. Interesting. By the way, how much power do I have for this sea glide? I can't actually see an indicator anywhere. Ooh, more salt? Yes. More salt? So I, I do have to be careful about dipping down but wait a minute. Is that a new species? 30 seconds. New creature discovered. Okay. The eye eye, I'm supposing that's uh maybe a distant cousin to the peeper. Ooh, I see more scrap down there. What the what the fuck? Why does my inventory keep getting rearranged? This is five. This is three, four, one, two. All of you stay there. Okay, so uh, it it has just finally clicked for me that the sea glide. Uh, the 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 sea glide does in fact have its own flashlight built in. So. Uh, Oops. 
high fluids, low calorie count, hard to keep down. So these things are pretty disgusting, huh? Is that what I'm hearing? Eh, okay, I mean, that's, that's not bad. That's a decent middle ground for both. That is very strange, by the way, that the, uh, disinfected water is literally just bleach. That leads me to believe that bleach is also going to be a necessary component in some sort of advanced med kit later, would be my prediction. Uh, so now, you know what, I'll go ahead and... Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> I've got so much water now, sweet! Okay, I'm, I'm kitted as far as, uh, necessities for a while. Wow, okay, so there's, there's salt all over the place down here. That's good to know, that's very good to know. Gone are the days where I'm gonna have to rely on the bladder fish for water. As I'm just gonna, that, that sort of like, the, that sort of junk drawer storage bin that's in my actual life pod, I'm also gonna treat that as like my emergency supplies pod. This is probably the one I already scanned in it. I haven't had to restock the Sea Glide's battery once yet, by the way. That leads me to believe that it's, uh... Inventory full again? What the fuck? I need to be a little bit more efficient with storage of my resources. I don't need to be carrying all of this stuff with me at all times. My brain is just not calibrated quite yet for how fast I'm moving with the Sea Glide. Like, going over to the Creepvine area felt like a reasonably long journey a second ago, and now it's just literally- I can be there in, like, 10 seconds. So, uh, I need to adapt accordingly for that. First of all, I'm gonna need another titanium storage locker. Okay, we're gonna keep, I'm gonna keep, oh no, fuck no, I wanted to put that in storage, what the hell? I was left clicking, it says left click. To move between containers, and it drank them instead. That's extremely upsetting. Is it gonna use this too if I do that? Yeah, what the hell? Okay, so apparently I can't store resources. Thanks, game. I'm gonna try one more time just with the storage lockers since, uh, I've got a lot of med kits. Like, those are not really a problem. Okay, so I can put them in the storage lockers just fine. No, apparently I can't. It went into the locker and then I immediately drank it. That's... Mmm, that's, that's upsetting. That's actually legitimately bad. That's the first major complaint I've had about this game so far, but that's unacceptable. Alright, well, I guess from here on out, I just need to... I need to store, uh... Did it change my inventory again? What the fuck? That is extremely annoying. I guess from here on out, I'm just gonna have to store... Like, the raw materials for things like food and water and med kits, because apparently the game doesn't let me put them away without wasting them. Well, okay. It lets me put the med kits away, apparently. Yep. Nope. That's... Mm, not okay. Not okay. Look, it even says left control to use. It says it should be left control to use stuff and left click to move to the container. I bet the only reason it's letting me move the med kits now is because I wasted one and now I'm at full health. Okay, anyway, that means I'm going to be storing the salt and the coral tube samples until I need them. And also the fire extinguisher, I definitely don't need that right now. I'll carry one med kit with me at all times, just in case. And actually, you know what? I am okay with committing to carrying one of each type of necessary material with me at all times. So every time I leave the pod, in other words, this is going to be a new rule. I'm, I'm just saying this out loud for my own benefit as well as you guys. Every time I leave the pod, I need to have at least one water bottle and at least one major food source with me in case I need it in an emergency to be able to survive long enough to get back to the pod. And obviously that's just for like short ex excursions, for long journeys that'll increase, but hopefully that won't be necessary for a while. Okay, all I need for my computer chip is a couple of table coral samples. Okay, yeah, so literally the episode can be done as soon as I find one more silver sample. That's all I... 
It changed my inventory again. Why does it keep doing that? Can somebody in the comments please explain? I have stuff bound to my quick slots the way that I want them, and it keeps removing the sea glide from my quick slots and moving everything else over one to the right. That doesn't make any sense. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's copper. I mean, I, I, I guess it's sort of hard to have too much of that, too, since you need copper for batteries and... Batteries are going to be necessary for keeping the sea glide up and running. Okay, let me poke around a little deeper here. Yeah, all right. This looks like the kind of thing we're looking for. The the outcropping that... Yeah, okay, so that's sandstone. Oh, sandstone can drop lead too! All right, solid! That means I think I... I got too excited there. I'm, uh... So limestone drops these super, super basic materials. And sandstone drops like the more rare stuff. And sandstone can apparently drop lead too. So that means I can put together the radiation suit too now, I think. I'm pretty sure that's all I was missing from that recipe. Just gotta keep poking it. Whoa. Okay. This is a whole ass thing, isn't it? Yeah, look at this. Unfortunately, we don't really have time this episode to poke around whatever's in here. I'm kind of on the clock already. I need to kind of get going and be done. Yeah, yeah, cry me a river. But uh, definitely making a mental note that there's a giant piece of wreckage down there in Stalker City. And we'll definitely be returning there probably immediately at the beginning of the next episode. Okay. All right, I only need one more stack of lead. Again, I, I have a goal. I have a goal in mind. I need one more, one more silver and one more lead. Come on, sandstone. Whoa, what do we got over here? Oh, sandstone. Wow, okay, so that explains, that's another thing I've been kicking myself for. Like in the last episode when I was constantly running out of oxygen, we went through that part in the cave that had four sandstone outcroppings on it. And I, I never went back to investigate that. The next time I stumble on Loot Cave Tunnel there, I need to go poking around in some of the deeper caverns. What are the chances that I'll stumble on that just like on the way back here? Wait a minute. Wait, what happened to... What happened to my little 3D map on the... Uh, on the sea glide? Ah, there it is. Okay, I can left click for that. This seems promising. It's an exploder down there. Uh, I don't think this is the right area, but I'll take a look anyway. Yep, nope, not anymore. Oh, well, okay, maybe they're a little faster than I thought. I thought that if I just ditched far enough that that'd be, that'd be it. That'd be all I need to do, but... Apparently, it's a little more involved than that. Yep, no, okay, so if I just sea glide directly away from them... Cool, excellent. That means I can hard counter those things now, nice. Ooh, okay, I didn't realize that. If you scan fragments for stuff you already have, then it just gives you titanium. What the fuck? Oh, I don't like that. Susan was just, I mean, that was not Susan, but not Susan was just in my head trying to tell me to swim closer to that fish. Wait, what the hell? I'm like super disoriented now for some reason. Like, look at this. Oh my, like my orientation is all wrong. Okay, getting in and out of the pot appears to fix that. That's weird. Okay. Okay, I got the wiring kit. Nice. There we go. And I'm assuming that's just... Yeah, alright. Solid. That's just built into my suit. So, that doesn't even take up inventory space. Excellent. Okay, um... Unfortunately, we're gonna have to end it there. I know what I said about wanting to get the radiation suit too, but I really am kind of on the clock right now, but... 
We know that there is a bunch of sandstone down there somewhere near that loot cave. So we're going to go poke around and try to find that next episode. And we're also going to poke around that wreckage in Stalker City, which is what I'm now just, I'm, I'm just calling that the creep vine area. <laughs> look, look at that. All the, all the sky rays are still just, so just sitting up there on absolutely nothing. But anyway, like I say, yeah, we're kind of out of time for this episode because I need to get this edited in time for it to post. So thank you everybody for watching this video on Subnautica. If you're enjoying the series, please remember that the best way to support it and my channel in general is to leave a like. You can also subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications when new videos are coming out. As always, feel free to chat with me in the comments, and I will see you all next time. Catch you later.